Okay, let's have a discussion about how to adjust your tension on your machine when you're having a problem with the sew out not looking properly, maybe bobbin threads showing through on the top of your small lettering. The first thing we want to do is go to the built-in designs on the machine and go to page two. This is your tension test right here. These six column stitches are our tension test. Before we begin sewing the tension test, I need to determine if my bobbin tension is correct or not. The tension on my bobbin case is very important. That bobbin case, that bobbin sews every needle, obviously, and we want the tension to be correct. I want to make sure either by putting the weights on that come with your um, accessories in the book, it explains to attach the weights and it should slowly, I like to have to jiggle the bobbin case a little bit and have it slowly slowly go down or I'll put a full bobbin in and if I jiggle it with a bunch of thread hanging out it'll slowly start to inch down. If the bobbin case just hits the floor your tension's incorrect. Another method to check your tension is with a tension gauge. The way these work is the bobbin case will snap in like so. The thread comes off and around this gauge here and what you do is you pull very slowly extremely slowly and about 22 grams is a good setting anywhere from 20 to 25 grams of tension is what you want if you pull it real quick it'll show a high reading if you pull it too slow you won't it's kind of hard to pull it too slow but see how that shows you that's how your thread pulls off your bottom case so that's a good setting right there and then you trim it off that's what a tension gauge does. It's important that the bobbin case tension be correct so that we balance out the top so this tug of war is correct on the tension. Okay, I have my file set up to sew now, needles one through six. What I'm going to do on my tensions, just to show you, they should be pretty good. We use this machine for demonstration all the time, but I'm going to intentionally really tighten up my needle two. It's very tight. My needle six, I'm going to make just as loose Wow, the knob's coming off. It's so loose. Very loose. So we'll see how this performs now when we sew it. Okay, so my, my first test sew out is done. So what we want to do is we want to look at the back side to see what my tensions look like. Now, you see that column of bobbin thread that's showing on the back there? The green one, I really like the look of it. That's a pretty much a perfect one. The white ones are hard to tell because, you know, white thread, white bobbin thread. They all look pretty good. But um, I really expected to see more um, more white on my number two because I tightened it up so much. See how much skinnier my, my red one is here because I don't have any tension at all so that bobbin case is winning the tug of war and pulling that red thread around. Still not too bad. Um, now I'm going to adjust and put in, let me hold up here, I'm going to um, make some adjustments to it and sew it again. One more second please. Now remember when you tighten your tension you turn it to the right, to loosen you turn it to the left. I like to have my tensions basically where I can see that little red line just starting to peak that's a good starting point where the red line is starting to peak above the cup is where I start from and then I tighten and loosen accordingly. So I'm going to tighten my number six back down again. I'm going to loosen my number two and then I'm going to sew the file again. Okay so that file's done now. We take it off and looking across the back, let me get a little closer here. Hopefully you can see this on the video. I want about a third, a third, a third, a third color, a third bobbin, and a third color again on either side. So they're roughly all correct. The key to this is on your tiny lettering. When you get down to a really tiny column stitch, that bobbin thread, if you've got too much bobbin showing, wants to peek through. You'll either need to loosen the top a little bit, your top tension, or tighten your bobbin case a little bit if you're having the problem with your tiny lettering showing bobbin thread. One more thing I'm going to try to do here is put a magnetic bobbin in there and I want you to see the difference that a magnetic bobbin makes on the bobbin case.
What I'm going to do now is use one of the Filtech magnetic bobbins. These go into your bobbin case with the magnet facing down so the magnet adheres to the bobbin case. Let me thread this up. You may notice on the back of your tension test that that column of bobbin thread from time to time gets a little wider, gets fat and skinny occasionally. And that's due to that sometimes your bobbin has what we call slubs in it or thick and thin areas of the, of the thread. These magnetic bobbins are an extruded thread. They're, they're, let's just say it's like fishing line. And they're very consistent as far as the thread diameter goes. We'll see what this does. Okay, so that's the end of the Filtech Magnaglide bobbin. And here, you look on the back here now. Let me get it up here where you can see it. Just a very nice thin column. Just, just very smooth and consistent all the way across. On the, I love these bobbins. They're, um, they are a very fine bobbin thread. And you get 135 yards on a, on a bobbin versus about 100 to 104 on a spun poly. A little bit more money, but you get a little bit more yardage. They last a little longer before you have to change them. So, but either way, we've got some good-looking tensions here. And just remember, this is a tug-of-war. The bobbin's pulling against the top thread. We want the bobbin to win the tug-of-war. We want the top thread to wrap around. So if your bobbin case is too loose, pretty much any tension is going to pull that bobbin thread to the top. Or if your top tension is too tight, that top tension will pull that bobbin thread up to the top, too. So... Any questions, email me at steve at sewingmachine.com. I hope this helps. Thank you.